Now, you may be saying, um, but Pastor Brad, you, you don't know my boss, right? You, you, you don't know the work that I am doing. Look, I'm not telling you you have to stay in a dead-end job. That, that is not at all what I'm saying to you. What I'm saying is that you may not be able to control your environment that you're in, but you can control your attitude. You can control how you respond to what is done to you or how it's put before you. you. We are the ones, God has given us that ability. God allows us to make those kind of choices, and we can control that part of the equa- equation. And so God is saying, um, excel wherever he has you. We need to excel at that. We need to work hard at that. We need to work as though we are working for God at that because God is going to be your boss at the next job as well. Right? Don't, don't just say, well, if I get out from underneath this boss, then everything will be good. Or if I get out of this job, then I'll be happy. Or if I don't have to work with these coworkers, no, that's not the place. That, that, that's not what we're talking about. We're talking about working hard as though we're working for God, and God will sort out the rest. Joseph was that perfect example. God was the one who gave him the promotion as he saw what he did and did it well. Because the principle from Scripture is when you are faithful with the little things, then you'll be faithful with the what? With the bigger things. Absolutely. 